Ronnie. Hey, Lou. Hey, you know, on our Facebook page, we have a lot of really cool memes. Some good ones. I saw this one, and it really made me take a step back. Some people aren't loyal to you. They are loyal to their need of you. Once their needs change, so does their loyalty. Mm. Are your friends being loyal to you? Is that something that you demand from a friend? Well, on today's show, we're gonna give you some warning signs that your friends take advantage of your kind personality. Like you, Ronnie. You're kind. I am. Not me, I'm an asshole. <laughs> Next on Men Are So Smart. Good morning. Welcome to another Men Are So Smart. My name is Lou Gallagher. I am Corvette Ronnie. Nice to have you watching today. Thank you. We do appreciate it. Um, if you didn't already know, you can now catch our show in podcast form on just about every platform available, not to be limited to just iTunes. Right. We're on iHeart. We're on all of them. Spotify. Yep. You Name bet. one. Name one. These days... Many individuals are seeking to develop meaningful friendships with other people for the purpose of becoming healthier and happier. Yep. However, there's always a big however. There's a catch. It's important to remember that many friendships that individuals attempt to establish are actually unhealthy. In fact, many people will find themselves being taken advantage of by their friends at some point. You can speak for your integrity but you can't do anything about anybody else's integrity. Right. So, Ronnie, yep. what should be watching out? We will be right. watching out for numero uno. Mm -hmm. They always seem to talk about themselves. Uh, their first instinct is always to talk about themselves, no matter the situation. Light topics include a story about their last vacation, their dating life, uh, on their on their day in general. After about ten minutes they might ask you how your day is going. Yeah. Mm. I have a friendship with somebody who doesn't really like to talk about his life much. You know this person. So they're constantly asking me questions and putting it back on me. And I feel like that's just the opposite of what we're talking about. Yeah, here. yeah, that's uh, a lot of pressure. I don't want to be talking about me. I'd <laughs> rather talk about you, but you're yeah. putting it back on me. Come on. All right, number two, you have to reach out first. Ooh, I know that friend. Yeah, I find myself from time to time saying, you know, text messages go both ways. Right. <laughs> you have to reach out first. When they reach out to you, they put in minimal to no effort whatsoever. Maybe it didn't even start out that way, but eventually you began to notice a pattern in their behavior. The exchange in numbers probably resembles 20% of their efforts and 80% of yours. And today we're talking about the warning signs. Your friends take advantage of your kind personality. All right, number three, they're being polite, but not personal. Okay. Uh, the times they do put in the effort, it seems like more of a transaction rather mm. than a reflex mm -hmm. uh, of caring. Do they? Uh, do you ever meet those people who who do things to be polite and not because they actually want to? Uh, ever look into your friend and realize that's exactly what they do to you? <sighs> yeah. These are warning signs. Yeah that your friends take advantage of your kind personality. How about this, and, and I see this on social media all the time. I love this one. <laughs> they fish for compliments. Yep. My hair looks so crappy today. Oh, your hair looks great. Oh, do you really think so? Oh, it looks amazing. That is so kind of you to Who say did that. Your thing. Cut? Oh, I can't wait. If they need more confidence, you are the first person they want to reach out to. You are really good at seeing the good in people. So you can easily find a list of their best qualities when they go fishing for compliments or if the topic comes up naturally. Yep. That's not good. Neither yep. is this one. They're not there for you. They tell you they will be, but they're not. They're not. Uh, they like to complain about their problems, but when you need a shoulder, they shrug you off or try to make it about themselves or again. Or don't have time. Don't have time, can't mm -hmm. do it today. Mm -hmm. uh, if they are in a tough way, 
they provide a thoughtful support system. If you are in a rough way, they should respond harshly in return and are eager to change the subject. Along those same lines, Ooh. I just love it when you have a you have a way that you're feeling about something and, and and I don't know maybe in your mind you've worked it up to this anxiety point or something and you go to share it with somebody that you could, can confide in and they shoot it down Ooh. it's like th th mm. that's how that those were my feelings yeah. yeah and I just shared them with you and what did you do you poo pooed them that's hurtful how about you make sacrifices and they don't you can recall more than a handful of times in a row that you've helped them, maybe it's moving or shopping, without waiting to reciprocate. At some point, you started to keep track because you noticed something a little bit odd about the amount of sacrifice you were making for someone who barely thought once about you throughout. It happens. Mm. This one I have personal experience with. They only come around when they need something. Uh, actually, they seem to be around most conveniently when they need a favor. Yeah. Uh, common phrases out of them include, can I, or will you do, or this one, don't you own a truck? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's a setup right there. Yeah. Oh, my truck? Uh, Sold it yesterday. It's gone. <laughs> Five o'clock last night, it was gone. No oh. more. Why? What did you have in mind? Yeah. Now that I know I can't do it. Right. All right. You're always going out of your way. Many times when <coughs> you've gone out of your way or even your comfort zone for them, you do not necessarily consider this as a task because you did so with your own free will, but it did leave you feeling more like a pawn and less like a person afterward. You were used. You were... You, you were laundry done with rocks in the stream. <laughs> Tossed aside. Yep. Uh, this one, boy, and this is number nine. Yeah. When you address issues, you're ignored. That's kind of like what I was saying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One final sign which indicates that your friends are taking advantage of your kind nature is attempting to address the problem and finding yourself regularly ignored. Yeah. Uh, often in individuals who take advantage of you are ego-centered, meaning that they consciously or even unconsciously come to believe that everyone else should operate in a self-sacrifice manner when they are around them. Ah, uh, boy, I think we all have a friend or two like that. Yeah. I, you, you know, if, you, if somebody told me this a long time ago, and I... And I tried to live this throughout my life it's not always possible but somebody once told me if you want to have a friend you have to be a friend yep maybe that's how we'll wrap up this short episode on thanksgiving yeah for you maybe you'll take that with you this afternoon as you go out and meet with family and friends and have your dinners or lunches or whatever the case may be try to be a better friend yeah i think we all can do that you know what Think less of yourself and a little more about the people that care about you. And I think the world would be a much better place. 10-4. Thanks so much for watching today. We do appreciate it. Hope you got something out of it. Give it a like. Subscribe to our channel. We would love to see some more subscribers. Uh, and it would be a great Thanksgiving Day gift for us if you subscribe oh, to our channel. yeah. All right. Uh, check out our website. You know where it is, menaresosmart.com. We are on Facebook, at Men Are So Smart. You can find us, as we mentioned in the open, uh, we are in podcast form on iTunes, on iHeartRadio, Spotify, and all of the other podcasting uh, platforms. I'm Lou Gallagher. I am Corvette Ronnie. We wish you a happy Thanksgiving, and uh, thank you so much. We are thankful Truly. that you watch our show. Yep. See you next time. Bye-bye.